Hello, so in this video I'm taking you along with me on my two day trip to the Peak District National Park. So I decided to stay in Sheffield as like my base and take the local bus into the Peak District each day. Um, and I think the tickets range about £5 or £7 for a day ticket um, and it's quite easy to get around um, by public transport as I don't drive. Um, so yeah, I'm just really excited to take you along with me and I hope you enjoy this video. And oh, and also, before I forget, you can find more details about the trip um, with like the exact buses and prices and exactly how much I spent on this trip um, in, the, in my blog post, which um, you can find down below in the description. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. So I'm now in Bakewell, such a pretty village. Um, I took the bus 218 from Sheffield to here, it took about an hour. And yeah, like I said, it's really pretty, but so busy with people. It's a Monday, so I thought it wasn't gonna be as busy um, as the weekends, but it was really busy. But anyway, I'm walking now. Um, I'm going to Ashford upon water, I think it's called. Um, it's about an hour walk one way and I'm also going to go past a cycle hire place and um, I was reading online and the reviews were saying that they don't have many bikes so I'm not sure if they're going to be any left but if they do have I think I'm going to hire one. to hire a bike and um, it was 15 pounds for two hours or i think it's 19 pounds for four hours uh but because because they close at five o'clock and it was like two o'clock basically when i went um i didn't it wasn't really worth doing the four hours because i wouldn't actually get to do them and um, so yeah but i'm uh, on the trail now on the monsol trail it's really nice really pretty um yeah here's my bike um yeah it's really nice such a nice day as well it just started raining though minute i rented the bike but only lasts for 15 minutes Okay, so I'm back in the village now and it's actually not that busy. It's around five o'clock now. Uh, I'm just gonna explore a bit and then uh, go for the bus. Okay, so I'm in the room now. It's quite cute. It's got like a desk, a bed, um, wardrobe, mirror, and then also a uh, bathroom, shower, and three toiletries and things. It's part of like a student accommodation, but it's like a separate building and it, they've turned it into a hotel. And um, so that's why they've got like the desk and everything. Um, but it's really nice. Everything's really clean. The staff are polite. And so it cost uh, 45 pounds a night. I was originally going to stay in a hostel because that's what I usually do when I travel alone. But I just couldn't find any in Sheffield. I don't know if they were just fully booked or... Um, but yeah, this is nice. Um, I'm just going to have dinner now. Um, I just bought some stuff from uh, Coop and then I uh, have a quick shower as well and then have an early night because I'm going to wake up early tomorrow and take the bus to Castleton. So I'm really excited for that just to be in the Peak District again because today was so nice. Uh, but yeah, anyway, <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. So I'm now in Castleton and it's so pretty. It's quite cold because it's quite early still, but uh, I'm just gonna walk for uh, a, just a little bit and then 
I'm gonna go to Mam Tor. It's a hill. It's quite a popular one actually. It's supposed to have really nice views. now it's um i think about half an hour i think i walked from castleton um, but the whole way was basically like this it's so beautiful So I just did the cavern tour, the Speedwell cavern one. Oh my god, so I, I'm very claustrophobic and yeah, that was definitely outside my comfort zone, but it's so worth it. Um, it was £16 per person and you did like a bo boat tour inside the cave, like an underground one. It was a bit scary, but at the same time it was, it was amazing. It was so interesting to like... Um, all the information the tour guide was giving and everything so i would definitely recommend it and you can get there um by walking about 30 minutes maybe less from castleton so um even if you don't have a car you can still get there I'm now leaving Castleton and I'm walking to Hope Village. It's about a 30 minute walk and there's a proper like foot trail. Um, right now I'm walking through a field with sheep. <laughs> the views are really nice. And yeah, the trail is just flat and easy to walk, about 30 minutes. So I'm going there and I'm gonna go and eat at a cafe. I think it's, I'm gonna go to one that's called Grasshopper because it's got a lot of um, vegan options as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I had such a great time at the Peak District National Park. Um, it's just so nice and I really can't wait to visit again because there's just so much to see. Um, I was just so happy how easy it was to get around by bus um, and just how cheap it was also. Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend for anyone who's in the area or nearby anyway to um, visit. Uh, and also you can follow me on Instagram uh, at marisa.voyadzi um, for more travel content. Um, I post a lot about solo and budget travel and also about traveling by public transport as I don't drive. And yeah, I hope to see you again soon.